the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Philip Montgomery is the head coach here. Their win total sits at six and a half. They are number three in the conference as far as odds to win the conference. They're only plus 1,000. Not crazy. Not crazy. Went six and three last year. Uh, that was a big improvement over the year before. Went four and eight in 2019. Um, SP Plus has got them going seven and five. FPI has them going six and six. So with the six and a half total, over juiced at minus 105, under at minus 125. Uh, I mean, it seems to be right on the number. At a glance, uh, last year came from basically nowhere, but they had kind of built up over several years with this team. Uh, they had some near upsets in 2019. They they kind of started it moving in 2018, so 2020 was when it was supposed to hit anyway, right? Nine starters back on defense, but linebacker Zayvon Collins is gone. He was the heart of the defense. I'm, I'm very curious. At Tulsa losing a first-round NFL draft guy that was the quarterback of your defense. Yep. You may have nine guys back. You may still run your your confusing 3-3-5 defense, but... Replacing that guy's not going to be easy. Exactly. So, uh, uh, same thing on the other side, right? Everybody else returns on offense except for the quarterback, Zach Smith. How much of last year was Smith and Collins? That's what I'm curious about. I've got them going under the 6.5, like, I, the analytics love them because, oh, they overperformed last year, and now they got 20 starters back. But I I wonder how much of that was smoke and mirrors. I mean, they won some close games. There was some turnover luck involved there. And don't get me wrong, I, I do like Tulsa. I like some of the pieces. This is just a tough schedule, you know? I did, playing at Oklahoma State, at Ohio State, they got Arkansas State that they should beat. But then Houston, Memphis, Cincinnati, uh, SMU, Tulane, like I, this is it's tough for me to be able to find more than six wins, so I'm gonna go under. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go over, just because I have them going seven. Okay, okay, I can buy it. But that's but that's it. Like I mean, it's it's right on the number. If if they, I don't, I don't think they'll lose more than you know. Their number won't be smaller than five. I think six is their floor. Un- unless this team was just what we saw last year was just yeah. a mirage. I mean, it's entirely possible. Entirely possible. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.